Hello Rocket fans and welcome back to Copenhagen Suborbital Rocket Shop where we continue working on the world's only crowdfunded crewed space rocket speaker. We will be looking at what happened at the workshop on Saturday, November 2nd. And I would like to thank Bianca and Ignacio for providing all the footage for this video while I was traveling. So from what I can see, Thomas and Scott were cutting more speaker parts on the plasma cutter. We already have welded the flanges that will go onto the intertank section, so these 120 degree cutouts will likely be welded into flange rings for the propellant tanks that we aim to build right after the intertank section and the long seam welder are done. Which brings us to John, who the previous weekend finished one of the two bridge clamps for said long seam welder, and this weekend was making the second one. After the welding was done, John and Martin tried the controller for the linear guide rail that will move a welding gun from top to bottom along the cylinder seams of Spica's airframe. Meanwhile, Christopher was doing some final CAD design for the whole rig. Martin also got some welding done on the Space Capsule prototype extension with some help from Bianca as well. We decided to extend the Space Capsule prototype a bit more just to make sure we have more space than we will hopefully need so we don't run into a scenario where we start placing things in the capsule prototype and find out the room was not enough. Especially since we don't know the exact size of the tanks we're going to use for the reaction control system of the space capsule. And to find that out, we'll first need to try a few different cold gas nozzles and measure their thrust. For which Adrian was adding anti-aliasing filters to his electronics to decrease the chance of high frequency signals interfering with his measurement data. And one more thing I would like to add is that we put a link to a free version of Rockets VR in the description box of our video from Sunday, which is a virtual reality experience where you can explore and compare different rockets to one another side by side, including Spica. So if you would like to give it a try but aren't able to support its developer Casper on Patreon, you can still get a feel for it through that link to a free download. So if you have a VR headset, we hope you enjoy. But that is it for now. If you don't want to miss our rocket updates, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell and we'll see you next time when we're one step closer to space. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.